All right, hey everyone. So it's been a long time since I made a video. I've been in the process of moving right now. I'm in the workshop, new workshop. We got a temporary table here. We got, I got a 3D printer in. This is the reason I'm doing this video is for anyone that's having troubles with the Neptune 4 Max or any other Elegoo printer that has this, um, this screen here, detachable, all this. So you can see some filament here that I have to throw out. I just, I just finished up a uh, dragon. You can see the, uh, eh, you can't really see it, but there you can kind of see the outline on the table, but that's from a dragon. All right, so if we go over to here, the problem I was having, so the first thing I printed out was a uh, spider for my mom, a um, little jumping spider. And that went, after I got the bed level, you would go into here, well, you would go into level, not prepared level, and you would go through and you would turn all these knobs and you would go to level and you'd, you'd go check and then you'd do it again and again with the, the piece of paper. Um, so, got the level done and then printed the spider, came out perfect. And then I came back in here, I couldn't get the thing to load. And then eventually I got it to load, and for some reason, when I go in, so if I go in settings, and then I'm gonna go to uh, about the machine. When I went to print the dragon, it was uh, it wasn't printing. It was um, it was creating. I'll grab it here. It was creating swirls on the pre-print so there's a little print line that goes here and finishes there and it was producing swirls and I don't know why I didn't know why and so it was started printing and it would not connect to the bed it would connect at each um, point that it changed directions just because it's a little bit extra but it was not um, is not going flat there's the top side, and there's this uh, one side. This is a dual color filament, so. Um, but it wasn't printing correctly. And so it took me forever to turn it off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. Eventually, it got frozen on a loading screen. So it froze on a loading screen with a little, where it just loading up, and it stayed there. So what I did is, um, can't remember the guy's channel I'll put it in the description you unplug the computer back there you don't touch the switch you just unplug it you unplug the screen here both points and you let it sit overnight I let it sit for like three hours and that made it uh, change then it would go to then it would go to the um, uh, software uh, error code screen which would be just give you your, oh, oh, which would give you your, uh, it would say Neptune, and then it would say either Clipper or um, fl uh, Fluid. Uh, software is not working properly, and you would have to, and the way you do that is you unplug it and plug it back in, unplug it, plug it back in until that screen, and it pretty much I just had to do it once uh, where it, I had to unplug it and plug it back in and it went to the screen. Uh, but the last time it wouldn't go to the screen, it kept, it stayed on the loading screen. So I unplugged it there, unplugged it there, and I unplugged it here, plugged it in back in a few hours later, and that got me to a, um, it, that got me off the loading screen, but went to the error, um, their software screen. So I kept on trying to unplug it, plug it back in, unplug it, plug it back in. Um, and couldn't get it to work, so it came up on the error software screen. Now, I found out that if you go on the error software screen, is where this little icon is here in your top, top right hand corner. On the error screen, there's a button there, and that's your settings button. So, so at the top of the error screen, there will be a button here, and that will be the button for settings. So, we're all gonna say, now what you'll get, you won't get all of this. But what you will get, you'll get like language. Um, I think you'll get language, factory settings, about the machine, and advanced settings. 
Now, if you go to if you go to advanced settings, you won't have any of this. So I don't know why they put that on there. Uh, but when you go to there, you're gonna go to. It's either gonna tell you when you click on it, or you're gonna go to that so, uh, about the machine. Mine is the four max. The one that when it was screwing up, for some reason, I'm guessing they use this module on all of the other uh, newer any any Neptune that has this module on it. They use the same module with different softwares loaded in. This one got switched over to the Neptune 4 Pro, which is a like which is a much smaller build plate. So I could, there's no selection here. It says contact logo, which they apparently have a good, but I thought good, um, good customer service. I thought I was gonna have to go in, uh, flash the printer and flash this with a thumb drive. And inside here, there is an SD card, but you have to download the program from logo to restart. I found out if you go to, if you get to this screen, if you get to the, um, the error software screen would and then go to the top right hand corner click that button in the top right hand corner on the error software screen go down to factory settings and what that will do when you click on that it will reset the the printer to the factory settings so whatever it was installed as then you will go back you'll it'll bring and then it will bring you up to this screen and then you do your leveling again um, so then you go into there I'm not gonna do it because I don't feel like going through all that you go into leveling and then you start your computer but going to the settings in the top right hand corner on the uh, software error screen go to fact go to about machine or it will already tell you and see if you have the right machine loaded your there is all the info for each machine is on the front left hand corner up underneath the print bed. So this one is a 4 Max, uh, or Neptune 4 Max. So then you go over to here and you press About Machines if it's on the screen. If it's not, just click Factory Settings. It will reload the factory settings and reset all the softwares and this computer. Like I said, on mine, you went to about the machine. This, it said Neptune 4 Pro instead of the 4 Max, and it would not work with this printer because it's the wrong printer. So go to factory settings, click that, and let it reboot. It will automatically reboot, and then you will go in and you will do your leveling, yada, 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 and everything will be perfect again. I printed, I have yet to have another problem. I don't know how in the world it got switched over to a Neptune Pro, but you know. Have a good one, y'all.